A very warm welcome to the channel and today we're in the FS Labs A321 Sharklet edition. I've got a series of uh, three flights spread over four videos. The first one we're going from Phoenix up to Denver. Um, video of our landing back into Phoenix as we do the return from Denver into Phoenix and then a short hop over to Los Angeles. Okay, flight number today then is American Airways 1876. We're taking Airbus A321, the FS Labs A321 from Phoenix to Denver, cruising at 350. Um, I've done the weights in metric, but I suspect that we'll have to convert those or be aware that they will be displayed in pounds when we get into the flight deck. So uh, 67.8 is our zero fuel weight and fuel that we're taking is, let's just scroll down a bit further to see that. So yeah, here's the flight plan, Phoenix down here going, uh, going up to Denver. So fuel that we are taking is 7.2 tonnes of fuel, uh, cost index 15. Right, let's go down to the Atsus, or, or rather let's go down to the uh, McDo's there. Okay, so we've got the Atsu menu brought up, um, AOC menu in it, and uh, just give it a moment and it should populate that with our flight number, there we go. Um, in it data request, let's just check page two. Yeah, nothing to do on there, so we'll just send that. It's not been too long since I've flown the A321. Um, but uh, yeah, hopefully everything will, will go okay. Right, fuel on board is ten and a half thousand um, pounds. So let's go back to the AOC menu. Go to the um, just been to the data page, haven't we? No, we haven't. Block fuel, so sixteen thousand pounds is uh, what we want. Let's just get the calculator. Sixteen thousand divided by two point two. There's our seven point two tons of fuel. So uh, what we've got: taxi fuel, trip fuel. Yeah. So again, the trip fuel there. We uh, can verify that matches the flight plan. Of course, eight six six four divided by two point two gives us uh, four tons that we uh, are predicted to burn. Yeah, trip fuel is 3.9 tonnes. So far, so good. Right, today I'm just going to refuel, not via GSX, um, not via manual, I'm going to do instant. So we'll just send that. Let's bring up the fuel page and just watch this. So it should just change more or less straight away to 16,000. Send that. Uh, STD not within that. Okay, yep. Let me just go back. I think the Zulu time at the moment is uh, 7.30 p.m. So actually that is within 60 minutes. So let's just change it. Okay, and set that. Okay, there it goes, there's our fuel on board, £16,000. Right, back to the AOC menu, uh, we'll do boarding as well. So, what have we got? 149, let's call it 150 just for the purposes of our calculation. So, 150 divided by 2.2 should give us 68, 68.1, I think we said it was uh, about 67, yeah, it was towards the top end of 67 anyway so and I did round that figure up so I'm happy with that um, boarding let's go to the next page here so let's go with our uh, let's get the catering on board um, so we don't need to say 
board now and initiate it, we're just going to go again with instant. Um, let's just check if I go over to the McDo menu over here, options, payload. Yeah, so we just need to request that. Keep an eye over here and the gross weight and the zero fuel weight will of course increase. Okay, so that's instant fuel, instant boarding, uh, instant catering. Right, um, got a fairly packed cabin as well. A fairly busy cabin. Um, probably heard the cabin door close as well, so it knows that we are finished with that. So we best get to work. Uh, we've done the data page. Let's just check the aircraft status. Uh, back to normal service on the channel, where I say uh, I need to update my navigation database. But it's only one cycle out. Uh, to the init page, so that's already populated in there. Cruising at 350. We've got our route in there. It's actually quite a uh, easy route there. We've got... I'll just bring up the plan again. Um, let's just go and grab the route summary. Yeah, uh, let's call this Yupa, a Merble Sid, uh, Yupa, and then uh, Schnapps probably, and then we'll discuss the uh, star once we get there. Um, the flight time today, I don't think I mentioned that, but obviously fairly short, one hour, 17 minutes. Um, I want to be departing from the most southerly runway, just one moment while I grab the uh, airport chart. Yeah, we've just started up the uh, EFB here um, in terms of via the browser, so we've just got a few messages as well we can do with just reviewing. So preliminary load sheets, slot notification, and our load sheet fine okay let's go menu and map yeah we are here actually okay so um when i said the southerly runway it's not i think these are two five left two five right and this is Two six. So looking at the meta, just uh, looking at that on my other monitor. Uh, What's it? KPHX. So runways in use are seven left, seven right, and eight. So probably not much in it. Let's go with runway eight. Um, so we'll get our calculations ready as well runway 8 let's just check it's got everything in here so 24 degrees 3006 runway's dry uh, I'll go with air conditioning on and let's see what figures we get Right, has our V1 range, so yeah, pretty much around there. 149, 152, 153, um, config 2, and a flex 55, I'm good with that. So, let's go in, we'll put in our departure of runway 08 and uh, Merbil 1, insert that. We've got 9,000 or below at uh, Goalie. Um, which reminds me, Leicester's playing uh, Ren at the moment. Okay, Sparky Goalie, yeah, Nobel Yotes, uh, Yupa, and Schnapps. Let's just clear that discontinuity. So I'm good with that. We can. Um, 
work on the fly plan beyond snaps once we get up into the air. 535 miles, that's fine. Um, if so back to the in it be and let's drop in there our zero fuel weight and zero fuel weight center of gravity block fuel just line selecting these and it pops it in then it changes to in it fuel prediction so zero fuel weight yep yes okay Right, we did do our takeoff calculation, so let's do a blink. Let's drop these speeds in. Config 2, wasn't it? Oh, down 1.1. Okay, and flex 55. Great. Over to uh, the progress page. So, just slightly above the optimum. That's all good. Let's just drop in the Caden uh, and just check what you saw on the flight plan that agrees, 0, 033 degrees if we was going to go as the crow flies. Secondary flight plan, I always make it a copy of that. So back to the flight plan page. And then predictions when we get to Denver is for seven and a half thousand pounds of fuel. Uh, remaining, so we shouldn't need to do use a calculator here, but that's around about 3 tons, isn't it? Yeah, 3.4 tons. Okay. Um, flight plan, so that's good. Let's just check the AOC menu back to the fuel page. Um, so we only had this amount uplinked here. send the fuel report um, and I think we're done now with the Atsu I'm not going to use it for any ATC purposes okay so I'll just pop on the performance page on this side take off runway 08 okay right just let me make sure now that my hardware does agree with these settings here so I do actually just need to put my um, engine switches to off if they are both off ignition mode select as normal parking brake is uh, set so I've got a flap lever that was at one for some reason that's now up okay right let's do uh, put the passengers in their seats as well Still got the uh, jet bridge connected, uh, air bridge connected rather. So let's go and do prepare for pushback and departure. So I'll just give that a moment. Before start, gear pins and covers removed, signs they're on, that is now fuel quantity checked, altimeters 3006, both sides checked. Let's go below the line. Windows and doors are closed, beacon can now go on and the parking brake is set. Please keep it securely held in your hand. Disgusting. Flight attendants, arm doors and cross checks, stand by for all call. Welcome back to travel with American Airlines. Today you are flying on board our Airbus A321. Your flight crew for this flight is Captain Christopher and First Officer James. My name is Noah, and I will be your lead flight attendant on today's flight. My name Sit is back, Mark Christopher. Relax, and enjoy Dreadful. your flight with us. Welcome aboard. Very nice briefing, apart from the fact they got my name wrong.
just do the TCAS uh, system now and as it looks like there's nobody around us we're going to put the weather radar on system number one predictive wind shear system is on flap two they're armed uh, so Charlie three is the next one let's uh, put the turn off lights on as well so it just leaves us with the strobes and uh, nose light to the takeoff position once we get down to the to the runway. Here we go, 22 knots already. So just for interest, let's see what it's doing there to the what effect it's having on the brake temps. Uh, yeah, that's uh, nothing at all. So let's just get back down to 10 knots. Uh, we'll pop the terrain radar on as well for uh, the departure. Uh, so we're coming down to Bravo 2 is the next one. Oh, you can just see that out the window, of course. It's uh, quite a long runway there. We'll get on the Bravo 1. Uh, just standing on the brakes again. So let's do the lights. And probably a little late doing this before takeoff checklist. Flight controls checked, flaps two, takeoff speeds uh, reviewed, ECAM memo no blue, takeoff runway eight verified, and the packs are remaining on for departure. So as you can see, there's just a bit of a teaser there for the next video where we're going to show you the TCA throttle quadrant. So do be sure to click the link to the next video and hope you've enjoyed this one. I'll see you all soon. Bye bye.